Hey, what's up, YouTube? In this problem, we have to integrate x plus 1 times 3x minus 2. So it looks like we have a product. However, for integration, there is no product rule. So the only thing we can do in this problem is just basically multiply everything out. So we'll take the x and distribute. So x times 3x is 3x squared. And then x times negative 2 is negative 2x. Then 1 times 3x is 3x. And then 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. Parentheses, and then we have the dx. It's really important to always write the integral sign and the dx in every step, right, until you get to the integration part. So this is equal to the integral. And then here you have parentheses 3x squared. Negative 2x plus 3x is just x. And then minus 2 dx. And now we're in a position where we can actually integrate this, right? We can use the power rule. Remember, the power rule says that if you have a number here and it's not equal to negative 1, all you do is you add and you divide by that number. So now we're integrating. So we'll drop the integral sign. This will be 3x to the, well, 2 plus 1 is 3. And then you divide by the 3 plus x. And then 1 plus 1 is 2. And then you divide by the 2, so 2 minus, and then when you integrate 2, you just get 2x. So 2x, and then plus our constant c. This is called our arbitrary constant of integration. The 3's here cancel, so we end up with x cubed plus x squared over 2 minus 2x plus c, which is our arbitrary constant of integration. So whenever you have a product like this, um, just multiply, distribute everything through, clean everything up, and then just use the power rule. That's it.